Hi, welcome to a Y video. My name is Lisa and we're going to be doing a kettlebell workout today. This is more of a um, beginner intermediate workout. Uh, we're going to get you warmed up. First of all, uh, you're only going to be using one kettlebell uh, for the entire workout. Um, so there'll be different movements. So I would go uh, probably a medium weight one, uh, maybe after the first time through, if you do it again, uh, you'll be, have a better understanding of what kettlebell to use. But we'll go through the movements individually and then we're gonna string them all together. Um, and then you'll be able to decide what weight you could do for the kettlebell. So uh, one kettlebell, an open space, so that because there will be some around the body, um, some swinging, so we will need some open space for you. Uh, let's get it warmed up first before we start the sequence and then we'll go through all the movements that we're gonna put together. So the first thing we like to do in the warm up is just get these shoulders kind of lubricated, get them moving because we will be doing a lot of swinging and uh, movement through that arm joint. So let's get you into hinge position. So when we're in that hinge position, we want to get those abs pulled in so that it supports that lower back. We want to relax the shoulders. We want to pull those shoulder blades together so that you have a nice neutral spine. And we're just going to kind of hinge and give me that little bit of a rotation through the shoulder joint. It's just kind of opening up and lubricating that shoulder so that arm moves really freely through it. We want to make sure that we're not being pulled down by the kettlebell, that we are kind of putting that arm back in its socket and we're just kind of letting it roll through nice and loose. And then we're going to do some on the other hand. That's it. Just keeping that nice neutral spine, abs in. And then reaching it around. Excellent. So then we're going to take the kettlebell into that first hand. We're going to do some side swings. So with the side swing, you can see my upper body is kind of going in that counterbalance position. I'm nice and loose, my knees are loose. My feet are like glued to the floor right now because I'm pushing my power through my legs, coming up the body and being able to swing that kettlebell to the side, front and back. And then we take it to the other side. That's it, really pushing down into those legs, keeping those abs firmly pulled in and just letting ourselves Move in that opposite direction to get a nice, powerful swing. And then when we go back to that first arm, we're going get to it, get it going into it. it's a wrap. So those wraps, you can see the kettlebell is being reached away from us, way out. Nice long arm wrapping around my body. My hips are square though, so I'm not rotating my lower body. It's just allowing my arm to reach up and around in that circular movement. Let's switch it, go to the other side, big reach and around. Still using my leg, still keeping that upper body nice and loose and my hips square. And let's go into just a, a switch every time it crosses that kind of belly button line right out in front, kettlebell out far away as possible, still wrapping around. And then we're gonna go all the way around the body next time around. Here it comes, so we go front, back, front and back. Try not to shorten that movement. Still pressing into the leg, rocking and rolling with it and giving it some re. And let's go the opposite way. That's it, you're just trying to keep it nice and loose, being able to feel familiar with it so that you can kind of loosen up the grip and still catch it. And really. All right, we're going down. I'm gonna get the legs wide apart because we're gonna go into figure eights. Figure eights. Thumb turns to the back wall. I'm using that thrust of my hip to bring myself up. Up, up. That's it. So it's almost like, kind of like a deadlift. I'm pushing my hip, pushing it forward, being able to stand up through the power of my legs. Arms are just kind of carrying on, but that movement of that kettlebell as it comes up is from the power of my legs all the way up my body. That's it. And up one more, each side, and then bring it there. 
We'll just do some short lever swings. So just like these T-Rex arms, my elbows are locked in beside me. I'm just using that kind of chest bump, short lever. I've got my hips back, pushing my hips forward and giving a little thrust forward to bring that kettlebell up and into your long lever. That's it. I really want to squeeze. As I push my hips forward, glute, inner thighs are trying to pull towards each other as I push my hips. And then I've got my high, high pull swing, elbows out. That's it, use those hips, push, elbows out, shoulder blades squeeze, out. Give me four more, and three, push those hips, two, and one. All right, now let's get these shoulders. We're gonna put it in a catcher position. So, thumbs through the horns. I'm gonna rest it on one of my hips. Whatever hip it's resting on, push my hip back, and then I'm gonna throw it over the other shoulder. So we're using it as a shoulder toss. So once again, just using a bit of rotation in the upper body, pushing and giving a little reach down the opposite side. That's it, three more, two, and one. Let's go round the head now to get it to the opposite shoulder. Ready, opposite hip to opposite shoulder. There it is, off the hip. I'm using the push of my hip, push. Make sure you're breathing. That's it, four more, three, two, one, and then back it comes. All right, just to warm up for a little bit of squats. Toes slightly turned out, elbows in. Still got my catcher position. I'm gonna come down, go down, then push up, push up. Chin and chest up, just like a regular squat. Then bring it up. Down, down, and up, up. That's it. Does it feel the power coming up those legs? We've got three more of those. Two, going down, push it up, one more, and up, beautiful. All right, so this is the, what the workout is. It's called a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Basically, it's three repetitions of a one-arm swing. So let's talk about the one-arm swing. When we have two arms, we're balanced. Bringing into one, we still need to have that arm back in the socket, need to lay the shoulder blades on the laying flat on your back, and we need to hinge and then squeeze. So one arm, you don't wanna rotate with that arm, you wanna keep it in that nice neutral position, shoulders level and shoulder blades laying flat. So we're gonna do three of these swings, one arm, then right into four of your cleans. So the cleans, we make sure that we have our thumb facing out and we're going to clean it up to a rack position. So it's a little bit of a swing. We rolled it around in that first finger, second finger and thumb and we just let it come into that rack position. So from there, we've got three, four done. Five is now a snatch. Now a snatch is we're gonna turn the thumb. The thumb is going to turn to the back wall. We're gonna bring it up, elbow bend, and it's a punch up to the ceiling, and that kettlebell comes up and over to land on the outside of that wrist. And then we bring it down. So we come up, it's a bent elbow and a punch straight up. So we will do five of those snatches on that one hand. So you can see this whole three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten will happen on one side and then we'll do the exact same without a break onto that other side. So we've got the five, so five snatches. Six, we're gonna really focus on shoulder strength. We're gonna hold 
those knees in a locked position. We're gonna do six of these military presses. So it's a very, we're not able now to use the lower body. So you're gonna feel that that's a real challenge on that shoulder joint. So six of those military presses. Seven, we're gonna turn those toes slightly out and do our seven squats. So they're uneven. So we really have to make sure that we balance ourselves in our stance and that we hold our body in that balanced state. So that'll be seven squats. Eight now will be a one arm row where we will take the corresponding leg back. We will line ourselves up, get this arm away from our balance point. We wanna hold our abs strong and we'll do eight rows from there. We've got nine now. So the leg comes back to a parallel position. We will do clean and jerk. So you know with the clean, the thumb is facing out. Clean and we drop, we get out of that hip and out of that rack position and we go to nine. And 10, we get to do around the body to get us to the other side and then we start it again. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on one side, right to the other side, and then we'll stretch it out. So let's get your, pick your poison, pick your kettlebell that you think is a challenge for this movement without stopping, and we'll go from there. So, all right, we've got to put everything in position. Really tighten up those abs. We've got three one-arm swing. Here we go. Ready? We've got, okay, now we'll count one, Two, three, now four cleans. One, thumb is out, right? Two, beautiful. Three, four, now snatch, so thumb to the back. One, that's it. Punch it up, punch it up. Two, three, four, five, all right. Six military presses. One, that's it, let it follow a straight line. Two, three, four, beautiful, breathe. Five, lock it. Six, ah, seven squats. Seven, and squeeze. Six more, push those hips. Five, four, Please. Three, breathe. Two, one. Beautiful. Rows, keep those shoulders square. One, elbow rib, right by your rib cage. Two, guide it down. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, nine clean and jerk. One, lock it, a little swing to two. Three. Four, nice and strong. Five. Six. Seven, beautiful. Two more. Eight to the ceiling. One more. Nine. All right, here we go. We got one, two, three, four. We got those 10, right? Five, six, seven, eight, two, nine. All right, one arm swing. Here it goes. Three of them. One, two, three, four clean. One, thumb out. Yep, two, get it on its ledge. Three, four, five snatches. Thumb turn to the back wall, right? Two, three, four, five. All right, military presses. Lock those knees, here we go. Six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six. Excellent, seven squats. One, squeeze, two, chin and chest up, three, weight in the heels, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Eight rows. Here we go. One. Elbow, slide it by your ribs. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more, one more. Eight. All right. Nine, clean and jerk. One. Get that clean. Push it out of the hips. Two. Nice. Three. Breathe, breathe. Four. Five. Six. So close. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nice. All right, 10 around the bodies. One, two, three, four. Press into those legs. Five, six, be loose. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then just a couple of stretches. Kind of slow yourself down. Doing a couple of those deadlifts. Just being able to stretch back. Nice neutral spine, and then push as you squeeze forward. Head in line with those shoulders, and squeeze. That's it. And release. Nice. Let's put the kettle down, bell down, and let's get a couple of good stretches. So that's an easy workout, but you can see how it gets the heart rate up. So repeating that a couple of times would be really good. And challenge yourself with a weight that you're able to do all those movements. So we're just gonna bring that arm across, hold it there, give it a little stretch. I'm just kind of shaking out my wrist to make sure that those are nice and loose. And then the other side, shoulders down. We either wanna be a below or above the elbow, adding that little bit of resistance to it, holding it there, and just loosen up the wrist there too. And then we're gonna take some nice big circles in front. Yeah, there's big circles in front and then going the opposite direction right around and then just crossing in front making sure you use every alternate one to reach on top and then bend those elbows squeeze back those shoulder blades ah standing up nice and tall and release good one to do just to finish off stretching out those extensors and flexors adding that little bit of resistance to that yeah, pushing down, pulling up at the same time. That's it, really stretch those guys out. Really important to keep a light grip onto those kettlebells when you're moving through them. And then going the opposite direction, pushing down, pushing up, breathing into it, and then shaking it out. Nice job, take a nice big deep breath in, raise those arms up. And then give me a little bit of a reach over to one side, just stretching out all the way from those fingertips all the way down to the hips. Ah, coming back to center, takes a big breath in, goes the opposite direction, go for the reach. And you got one more, you're gonna bring it back to center and you're just gonna let it come down. Give it a couple of shoulder rolls. And I wanna thank you again for joining me today. Uh, give that workout a little try, do it a couple times and see how it goes. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon.